Hello everyone, I'd like to make a few quick observations on the current situation in Europe in relation to Islamist extremism and terrorism. It is unavoidable to notice how in a short period of time that goes from September 25th to November 2nd, Europe has witnessed five terror attacks involving two countries, four attacks occurring in France and one in Austria. These attacks caused the death of eight people and include two beheadings, a situation that simply cannot be considered as ordinary. Additionally, Italy turned out once again as the open gate of Europe with two of these terrorists being able to freely move through the country in order to reach final destination France. It is undisputable that the ideology that fueled these attacks is the Islamist ideology. Islamism, or as French President Emmanuel Macron defined it, Islamist separatism, political Islam. It simply is the exploitation of religion perpetrated by specific groups in order to achieve their own objectives. Now, it is important to notice that both countries that were targeted by the attacks, Austria and France, are the same countries that have been recently taking strong measures against Islamism. It is worth pondering and observing which European countries are willing to side with Austria and France in their common objective of contrasting Islamism. It is also important to recall that France has been and currently is extremely active in the Sahel region against jihadists. Now, while Europe has been efficient and still is on an investigative level, much more needs to be done in order to contrast, neutralize and eradicate political Islam. Another important issue is border control because it is currently very easy to infiltrate Europe through both the Balkan and the Mediterranean route. And without border control, it is impossible to stop jihadists and potential jihadists from infiltrating the continent and becoming active. We currently cannot know how many of these individuals manage to slip in and are currently on sleep mode. Thank you.